place. <laughs> I didn't know you were home. Answer me. Well, <laughs> Vivian was trying to convince me to divorce you and, and to banish you from this house. And I, I refused. And I said, if you ever heard that she had mentioned it, that all hell would break loose. I'm not afraid of you. And I don't want to live under the roof of Stefano's whore. No, you! No, 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 no. Don't talk to my wife like that. A woman who's worked tirelessly to preserve my father's legacy. And you don't insult her either. She's loyal and... So intelligent, as impressive as her beauty. All right. All right. I get it. Love is definitely blind. Excuse me. I wouldn't pay any attention to what she said. I bet thick skin anyway. I have to admit... Wouldn't mind listening to those insults just to hear you defend me like that. <laughs> Say this nice thing. Thanks. <laughs> well, it's all true. Yeah. If you do good things for the company, then Chad and I will believe that you didn't sabotage it. Not quite the enthusiasm I was looking for. Chad and I would consider it a tremendous honor if you would give us our jobs back. That's better. Very much looking forward to working closely with you. I will go tell my husband the good news. Decided not to tell mom about Rafe and Sammy. You did the right thing. I still don't like what he did, but he and my mom were split up when he did it. So, plus, he really loves her, she really loves him, and telling her would only hurt her. Yeah, he doesn't seem like the kind of guy who cheats on the woman he loves. I think it bugged me to see him and mom so happy when I'm so miserable about me and Theo. But you helped me see that making mom just as miserable would only make me feel worse than I already do. So thanks. Trask. Oh, come on. You know how it went. She's a complete nightmare. But you know what? Not even she could ruffle my feathers today. Not after that break with Sierra. I'm happy for you. 